Hi you guys, Sarah Picaro here, and I hope you are all having a fabulous day. Uh, I'm going to tell you about six things that a narcissist will do when you go no contact. So if it's someone you can go no contact with, absolutely 100% of the time, go no contact. If you have a child together or children together, you can't. <clears throat> That's my experience, and it sucks. But you can, like, no contact, no contact. Only engage with them over email or a court-ordered parental app. Everything has to be documented. No texting, no social media. Block them on everything else. Any weird or fake number that they call you from, any fake accounts that they set up to connect with you, block, 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 block. They're not going to like it. When you finally set that boundary and you say no more. No more is no more and we're not going to contact each other anymore unless it's with the well-being of our child. Again, that's the court-ordered app or the email. When you go no contact with them, you are cutting off supply and that's all you are to them. So this will induce the narcissistic rage. Get ready for the rage parade. So here are some things to know, consider, and be ready for it. Number one, there's six of them, write them down or just watch this video. <laughs> Number one, they will beg you to come back by faking an apology. Maybe some say sorry, some don't, but they will beg you, beg you, beg you to come back. Please, this time it's gonna be different. Um, they will maybe actually go so far as to change their behavior for a little bit. Maybe they will go to counseling or therapy to say, see, I'm working on it, I'm getting better. So they will beg you to come back and fake this new change behavior. Don't fall for it. It doesn't matter, you've already got no contact, right? They're like, no, 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 wait, watch. Second thing is stonewalling. You may experience this. They might withhold information from you uh, in order to get you to come back to get that information from them that they're withholding from you. This is very common, especially if you're going through a divorce with a narcissist. You will experience stonewalling, the silent treatment, anything to kind of pull your little strings because you're a little puppet for them. The third one is that they will profess I can't live without you. Oh my gosh. And I've done a video on this before. You're the only one I love. I know I cheated on you, but it was, I don't love them the way I loved you. I've never loved anyone the way that I loved you. They will profess that they cannot live without you and that you belong together. Maybe you haven't gotten married yet. This is when the proposal will start to come in or let's get married. Ugh, this will happen after you decide you're gonna go no contact. Here's another horrible one that feels, oh my gosh, the world is ending and all you wanna do is get back to them. The smear campaign. They will spread and smear your name, reputation all over. They will spread rumors about you, lies about you, they will try to destroy your credibility. So many people that I work with, they have this done even at their place of work that the ex-narcissist will call the boss, call the people that they work with and tell them all these things, try to get them fired. They're not only trying to mess with you personally, but every area and aspect of your life. So just, you have to stay in your truth and you cannot fire back. Remember, that's like giving them a bullet to load the gun to use against you. Ugh, it's difficult, but this will happen when you go no contact. So be ready for this. If you haven't yet, hopefully this video helps you or someone that you know. The fifth one is that they will continue sending you messages in order to derail you, puzzle you. They'll still try to gaslight you even after they send you or that you go no contact. They're still going to try everything that worked in the beginning or within the relationship. Sending you messages in order to keep you confused. You're the one with the problem. You're the narcissist. Look, like they're the victim. All this stuff was done to them. Don't fall for that. It's such a nasty trick. It works in the beginning until you realize what's going on. And then the, the, the sixth one is the blame shifting. They're gonna shift the blame. They will promote themselves as a victim. You're the villain. Look at all these horrible things that you've done to them. And most likely up to this point, right before you decide to go no, no contact, yeah, you've done some pretty bad things. Like, I'm in that club with you guys. <laughs> They've done some crazy things. But they have pushed you to that level of being crazy because of all the brainwashing and what's going on. So know that when you're ready to go no contact, you've got to prepare yourselves for these things that are going to happen. And then 
stay no contact, stay true to that, surround yourself by supportive people. Maybe it's communities through Facebook, maybe it's family and friends who actually know what's going on by loved ones. It is so important for you to not continue to feel isolated and alone the way that you, they wanted you to, because that is what gave them power. And that's what needed you to keep going back to them to feel, oh my gosh, this is what's going on. And then they could tell you how you felt. Well, no more of that. Take your power back, go no contact, and then work on healing from within to rewire, reprogram everything that it was that took you to get to that point in the first place. So hopefully this video helped you to know what to expect. These fun little six things that happen when you will go no contact with a narcissist.